Now we're at Oak Ridge Cemetery in Springfield, Illinois, just outside of the city limits. And up here is the tomb of President Abraham Lincoln. Now I'm gonna take you inside the tomb in just a second so you guys can see the actual final resting place of Lincoln. But before that, there is a lot of history here when it comes to Abraham Lincoln, his passing, and how long it took before he was actually able to rest peacefully. Now, the weird thing about Lincoln is that when he was brought to the cemetery, he was put in a temporary vault. He was continuously moved around, moved from receiving vault to a temporary vault on the side of the hill to where the tomb is now. And then the tomb was uh, kind of reconstructed a little bit. And he was moved around so many times over the course of about 35 years that he didn't rest peacefully until the 1900s. Now let's go inside and I'll tell you just a little bit more about the history of this tomb. Now this is a designated quiet place in here, so I'm not actually voicing this live. I am actually doing voiceover on this, but I'll tell you a little bit as we walk through. Now this tomb was designated on the National Register of Historic Places in 1966 and designated a historic landmark in 1960. Now it was, uh, it took six years to complete. It was rebuilt and restored from 1899 to 1901. And uh, during that time, all the caskets that were in here of the Lincoln family were moved to a temporary underground vault on the side of the hill. Uh, now, I'll take you guys back here, but there are two corridors. One takes you to the burial chamber, the other takes you back out. So you pretty much walk in a square around this tomb, and the burial chamber is in the back of the tomb. Now, there is a lot of marble in here, and supposedly each one of these on each side represents a president that served before Abraham Lincoln. In each corner is a sculpture of Lincoln from various points in his career. And then as you turn this, this corner right here, the burial chamber is just on the other side of this. There are very nice sculptures inside here. There's always a couple people in front of me, so I'm trying to let these people kind of move on a little bit so I don't cramp them. But just through these gates right here is the burial chamber. If you guys want to pause this and read it, feel free. Now, just in here is the burial chamber. Now, Mary Todd Lincoln is buried behind this wall right here, as well as his sons, Edward, and Willie and Tad is over here and his other son Robert Todd Lincoln elected not to be buried in this tomb he is at Arlington Cemetery and this is where Abraham Lincoln is now this is a seven ton block of reddish marble and Abraham Lincoln is buried 30 inches behind it 10 feet down Now I'm gonna show you the back of the tomb while I explain to you a little bit about the attempted grave robbery here. Now it happened in the fall of 1876, just 11 years after his assassination. There was a plot to steal Lincoln's remains from his tomb right here and hold them ransom in the Indiana dunes. Now there was a prominent engraver in Chicago named Benjamin Boyd. He was jailed in Joliet Penitentiary and a, guy, a crime boss by the name of uh, Big Jim Canale relied on Boyd for his business and devised a plan for his release. Now his scheme called for Lincoln's body to be stolen from the back of his tomb back here, and his remains would be taken to the Indiana Dunes and held for ransom and $200,000, which is the equivalent of $5.5 million today. Now, Canale persuaded two of his men to carry out the scheme, a guy named Terrence Mullen and Jack Hughes, and a third man, Louis Swaggles, joined him, but he was actually an informant for the Secret Service. The Secret Service decided to talk to Robert Todd Lincoln, Abraham's son, and they got the Pinkerton Service in involved in this also. Now, they decided to allow this and catch him in the act, and they let John Power know, who is the first custodian of the Lincoln Monument. The guys broke into the back of the tomb out here. There was uh, a small gunfire that erupted between the, the criminals 
and the Secret Service and the Pinkertons, and Mullins and Hughes escaped, but they were captured 10 days later back in Chicago. This right here was the temporary receiving vault that held bodies while they couldn't uh, bury them in the winter. Now, this is where the remains of Abraham Lincoln were from May 4th, 1865 to December 21st of that same year. Here's an image of what things looked like here on that day. As you can see, very little has changed. Now, after December 21st, Lincoln's body was moved from this receiving vault into another temporary receiving vault that was built for him along the side of the hill. From there, he was moved to another vault, and he kept getting moved and moved and moved until the 1900s. So he didn't rest very peacefully, but feel free to check out some of the other videos I've done in the past week, and I'll show you the Lincoln tomb and tell you a little bit more about the grave robbery that was botched right outside here back in the 1870s.